Hey everybody, Travel Dog here. And we're off today walking from St. Ives to Zeno. Uh, behind me you can see the Tate, Tate St. Ives. And we're just, there's the island, St. Ives behind me as well. And we're just heading off. That's where we're gonna start the walk. Down over there off towards Zeno. And uh, let's go for it. And we're heading off and here is the first pug ever to walk to Zeno. Okay, here we are everybody. You can see St. Hives, uh, Portsmouth Beach down there, in the Tate. Here we are, cracking view as we start off on the mission to Zenor. Beautiful day. Oh, look at that house up there. That looks amazing to look at it. Right, I think down here there might be a sign. Um, you can see this classic, this is sort of like prehistoric land down here. You can expect to see dinosaurs, but it is genuinely different to any uh, countryside in the whole of England. This bit down here is quite an extraordinary section along this coast path. What does it say here? No camping. Not a freaky place to camp, but not cool reality. Right, here we go. Here's the sign to Zenor. Coast path Zenor. Doesn't say how many miles. I think somebody scraped it off. That's because I think it used to say something like three miles as a kind of joke. Because you think it's three, but it takes about six hours. Even though it might only be, say, seven? It is seven, but I mean, in reality, it's like a hardcore seven miles because you've got to keep going up and down and up and down. Look at that amazing sea and view. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. We're further along. Okay, the dice behind us. Sort of going around to the first outcrop bit. We're going to go around. The wind are up here on this first outcrop bit. the public footpath. That's the coast path Zena, five and a quarter miles from here. I feel like about 15 by the time we finish. And look at these absolutely amazing ponies. Look at this. I think they're actually wild ponies. Look at them, they're just chilling out on the um up here on the path. Look at those beautiful beasts man. They're amazing eyeballs. Look at them. Amazing ponies. Hello pony. Look at that, stunning ponies just chilling here. All right, we just got past those ponies. They're absolutely brilliant. And you got that view down there. Back to, uh, I see a Godfrey Lighthouse where the, the, um, where the ponies come, where the seals were. Oh. Ponies actually following us down the coastal path today. Hello, pony. Pony's still going, Pony's just following us down the path. Oh, Daddy, I'm scared, it's just oh. So we've just got around this first kind of sort of outcrop, and now you can see more of the coast and uh, the route we're going to be taking all around the edges of these. So it's up and down, up and down. That's where we're going. You can see the amazing sea. Look at something crazy. Where are we going? Some of the bits of the walk are quite sort of precipitous, like this bit here where you've got kind of like, if you fell down there, that would be unfortunate, shall we say. But yeah, you've got quite a few precipitous bits. I mean, not, not that bad as long as you're sensible. But, um, but yeah, it's got a few exciting outcrops. This is one of those like really picturesque bits of the walk, and you can see that little um, rocky path we're going to go out there. And we're just heading down here now. And I think you get to another one of the sort of slightly uh, cliffy bits as you come down here on that little bit there. Right, come down here. Pug is still doing the most amazing mountain pug stuff. And it has some good boots to go down here. We might do a little bit of boot discussion later, but um, I'm wearing some Hans Weg sort of German Bavarian boots, which are rather good. See that pug? Just scamper down the side like an amazing mountain pug. Like a, like a beautiful little beach down there. I don't know how you'd ever get to it, but it's still a pretty cool beach. Look back down there. 
see some ponies over there. And this is the way we're going, up down here. Jeff's drinking out of the puddle at the moment. Come on, Jeff. Right, so we're just about to go around Pen Ennis Point, just to click on the um, uh, map. And yeah, so you can see where we're coming from. Uh, so we can see if we're watering them. We're going to head off oops, over there to uh, Pen Ennis Point, which is another one of those sort of little outcrops. Okay, really windy up here. I might not be able to hear what I'm saying. We've got an amazing view down there. Back there, down there, towards that uh, outcrop section. We're coming up around here now. On the way, we've been walking for one hour, 20 minutes so far. Not entirely sure how far we've gone, but um, anyway, I'd say possibly about a quarter of the way, maybe a bit more. No, probably a quarter of max. Anyway, there we go. Views, look at that. Amazing. I always like this bit, we've got to this kind of cool stone, whoa, whoa, stone circle here. Look at it, kind of magic stone circle. Look at all these stones. I mean, they must have been here for years, hundreds and hundreds of years. Anyway, look at that, that's amazing. Look at that big sort of pillar in the stone circle. But here, right on this, as you can see, there's all sorts of cool mystical places around here. Barbara Hepworth has got a to come in here and just lie, lie on these magic areas on the ground. You can hear me in the wind, but anyway, it's a super cool stone circle. Look at it, what a magnificent place. To have the stone circle. Hugger likes the stone circle as well. Let's tie itself on my foot. Okay, just about to go around Trevago Cliff. Yeah, it's a brilliant view all the way back. You can see all the way back. Excellent. And the sun coming over there. Right, and now we're heading down to Trevago Cliff. Guys, you've got the most amazing, amazing view down there. As we're dropping down. It's all like this sort of rocky stuff, which is actually really nice to work on. It's really good fun. It's actually got some nice bits to lean on everything. Okay, guys. Three miles is now. So we're over halfway. It's a great place down there. The seals come to actually drive people out to see seals on the island. Just stop for a bit of lunch here, which I think this is called Sea Island, as I said, and I'll take you on a boats from uh, St. Ives down here. But you can actually see some seals just swimming around in the water just down here. You can see Gun and Tail over there in the distance. And there you go, you can see, oh, it's gone. there it is, there's the seal. Swimming around in the water, another one there. Brilliant, aren't they? Going up to this really cool rocky section here. It's just quite a fun, quite entertaining sort of bit you can clamber over. And it's not difficult, but I mean, it's just, it's just quite fun, basically. Here we are at Tregethan, so we're over halfway now. Um, I think we've got a couple more, one more of these, probably a couple more of these sort of outcrop bits to go around, and then we'll be at Zenor. My hat's just blown into the river. Right there. Anyway, I've got another hat, it's okay. The wind is just blowing the sea around. These mad kind of patterns. Here we are, coming through another kind of funky, uh, rocky, climby section here. We're not really far now. Um, and we'll be uh, up around there in a minute. So as you can see from the map, oh, that's the 
popped in there. We're coming up to Tremetta Tr Cliff. So we're nearly at Zen Arsen. It's just up around here. So I don't think we can go right around that one. We just go across the edge of it. And then we head back in. So here we go. Nearly done. Four hours, seven minutes, about 5.3 miles, I think. And here we are in Zeno. We made it. That's uh, Zeno Church. Uh, around there. Uh, let me show you up. There's Zeno Church. And this is the, uh, the Tinner's Arms. Let's get to this so we get back. You know what I'm saying? It's something got really windy. Now we got here. We made it. Absolutely brilliant walk. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, both to uh, travel back and to